hey man, our girl Angel Reese been making headlines, dog. <laughs> uh, yeah. Whether whether she at the concerts, whether she taking pictures. Got her a boo. Got her a boo. Yeah. On her podcast though, she had uh, Kayla Nicole, who was Travis Kelsey's ex. Uh, she just started a show as well. She goes on the show. She's obviously asked about Taylor Swift and Travis and. You know, she says some things about that relationship, how things transpired and where they are now or are not. Mm -hmm. But she also alluded to a regret with an ex saying that, you know, she had a relationship and she took pictures dressed up as the guy's woman. Mm. And the internet did what the internet does and swung it back around to Iman Shumpert and Tayana Taylor. We have a pod, bro. We know how it works. Yes. What do you think about that situation? <sighs> Internet is, has a lot of information on it. That's what it's here for. But people are trying to get famous or stay famous or stay relevant. And she knew what she was doing. Nicole, what's her name? Kayla Nicole. I, Kayla Nicole. Like, she's Travis Kelsey, ex-old lady. When you told me about the story, you had to tell me Travis Kelsey, ex-old lady. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So she needs to stay relevant in that time. And you know they're going to figure it out. You know what's going to happen. Why do that to them? We know that Iman and Tiana ain't together no more. But why bring either one of them back into that? Now Iman's hearing about it. Now Tiana got an answer for it. Why do that? I know why is to stay relevant, mm -hmm. to talk trash. Like she's talking trash about, uh, about Taylor and all that and how she can't speak to him and all this stuff to bring up crap. I say it with the Kardashians, and you know I'm old. So I don't understand how people can't be talented and be famous. It is yeah. what it is now. She got famous with no talent. Mm. And you've opened up to me that she is a communication major or something like that. She knows exactly what she's doing. So you're bringing negative attention to an already bad situation where people get divorced with kids. We mm. know them. Yep. I've been to birthday parties with mine and them. Yep. Bringing bad situation, bad attention to a, to a family, a mixed family now, yeah. whatever it is, for you to get more clicks or for you to get your podcast, you know, amped up. I really, I really don't enjoy that. Yeah. And I think it was very, uh, very low of Kayla Nicole, whatever yeah. the other name is. I mean, obviously, Tayana Taylor has really stayed relatively quiet about what's going on or what went on with her and Iman Shumpert. Obviously, you get the news from everywhere else, but she's handled, in my opinion, everything like a lady. And so now to be dragged back into the conversation based off of the interview with Kayla Nicole and Angel Reese, like that has to be extremely difficult. We know how podcasting, we know how news travels, how things become viral. It's not just that a popular person or formerly popular person says something, it's who they say it about. You can tell the same story about Jane Doe or John Doe and no one cares. But you tell that story and it's connected to a Tiana Taylor and Iman Shumper. Now it's news. Mm -hmm. And that news brings eyeballs or ears to you. I think the thing you have to be really careful of, and we have to be careful of it as well, is that every story is not only our story. Mm -hmm. What I may be comfortable with sharing, which I don't know why she was comfortable sharing this story or what sort of light that puts her in, why I don't share all of my stories is because other people are involved. Other people can be implicated. Other people can be hurt. Other people can have to go through whatever trauma it may have caused that they have been working with and dealing with. And so now, when you tell this story, knowing that people are gonna figure it out, giving enough specifics for those who don't have much to do or for those whose job it is to figure this out, the opportunity to do so now brings in an entire family who has obviously had to go through something that's extremely difficult by itself if no one knows, and they had to go through that very publicly. And so I think we have to be extremely aware of what we say, who we say it about, and how it can affect them. And I don't think that that was her thought process or priorities in that, and that's why we are where we are.